Hello and welcome to Team Forest TV. It's not Team Forest TV 2. We've got our wires uncrossed and this cast is slowly but surely getting back on the rails, I think, Commander X. Yeah, it looks like everything's uh, back and sorted. We're on the right channel, we've got the right team names, and I think we're going live pretty quickly because um, Norway don't seem to want to wait, basically. So we just saw Lithuania come to a, I say, pretty convincing 3 1 win, even though pretty much every round except for the last one went right to the wire. Norway certainly showed they had some fight, and it'll be interesting to see in a more standard sort of 5 CP map, the most standard of 5 CP maps, uh, CP Badlands, how Norway fare. Uh, a lot of their players like QNX, uh, Leon, Aoife are going to have a bit more experience on this map really as a team number newer maps, um, Cough Fireduct. So I'm I'm all for Norway here. I think they can bring it back. Yeah, I hope they can and take it to that third map. It will be a Gullywash Decider, or so we've been told. Anyway, I see 12 on the server right now. If you have just joined us, this is Team Forest TV's coverage of the ETFTL Nations Cup powered by TT Esports. It's the fifth cup and the group stages are over. We're into the brackets here. This is the second map of a best of three in the round of 16 between Lithuania and Norway. We're going to middle, Commander X. You're going to take me there, baby. Yeah, I'm following Huey all the way to middle. He's doing the rollout uh, pretty good so far. Uh, he's going to go balcony, though, the more defensive option. He does love his defensive play. Uh, he's going to be exchanging sticky so far, and he's got the better of 2NX right now. Uh, here can be aggressive soldier one trying to follow up on that, but wow, uh, RVNs gets absolutely destroyed. And that's good. But even with that, they've got all the positioning, but Norway have some fight left on them. They've scattered around, isolating the players underneath, cleaning them up. Meanwhile, QNX is just walking across the point, uh, throwing down the damage. Um, and we have a weird middle now with a lot of the Norwegian players sort of dropping underneath to finish those traps. But actually, a soldier's come in now for QNX. Gonna knock him down to the floor. Nighthawk came in as well. But um, Ethug and QNX gonna clean that up, protect Ace. Uh, yeah, strange middle, but uh, pretty dominant from Norway. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick roster rundown. We have the, the intel. For Lithuania, on Medic it is Natsuru playing as Natsuri. We got RVNs as Roman playing as X6 in S now. Uh, meanwhile, action on Spire going down. Nuki is also known as Starsky. He's going to be playing Scout alongside Nighthawk. And on Demo Man, of course, Kuhi Evokte playing Pocket. And right now, the Lithuanians have their backs up against the wall here. They're trying to build Uber furiously. They're only at 25 now, and it's a full charge for Ace, the Norwegian Medic. He's ready to lead. He's got loads of time, they got a ready scout and demo, they're expecting a pyro, but no pyro here. Now they just need to find a few frags, who he still has sticks on the main, but I see a little pause here. Uh, and yep. that's going to give us time to catch our breath, Commander X. Uh, yeah, interesting what you see right now, because it looks like, that soldier on point being a Vokte, he looks kind of screwed, he's going to go down. While the rest of the Lithuanian team are rotating around, like doing the wraparound to the other side. And there doesn't seem to be any Norwegian players near that side to really pressure them. So I think the hold's looking good for Lithuania here. Yeah, I'm just looking at a boxy up on that tube. Is he about to die to Ethug Skyrogun? Will he land the shots? I think so. Surely oh, he's going to die. Wait, I want, to, I want to change what I previously said, because I've just realised it looks like both Norwegian soldiers, Rudy and Dr. Leon, are about to walk top right and hit that double soldier spam as they rotate around. So maybe this is a really well-planned push from Norway and they're going to absolutely sandwich them there with some demo spam. So I think this hold doesn't look good for Lithuania. It looks, I think if the push looks good for Norway. Yeah, I mean, they're uh, going to have good control of the high ground. They've got demo and Van Uber demo top left there. He's probably about to reload, but he should be able to control that left door. And then, like you say, those two soldiers coming in top right will be able to put down a lot of damage on anybody who wants to stay on the high ground and that's pretty much everyone always stay on the high ground unless you've got to block the point right now Vokce is the only guy standing between Ethog and a cap though uh, RVN's up there playing as X610S might have something to say about that but look at the position of those stickies on the point Ethog can just edge it there and get that cap in a blink of an eye man uh, this could be over very quickly gotta focus this pause is gonna unpause at any moment <laughs> Commander X yeah nice and tense uh, it's gonna be interesting to see obviously uh, Norway starting a lot better than they did on Viaduct, as predicted. Um, so hopefully uh, they can take this to the best of, like, all the way to the end. But also if they do take it to the third map, sort of hypothetically speaking, it's going to be 5 CP again. Um, so if this map continues for way this first round has, uh, Lithuania could be in for a tough time. Do you know what map they beat Russia on? 
I am honestly I, am don't. I, am I testing your knowledge too much here? You can tell me. Okay, I'll look it up. Hold on. Oh, I thought, I thought you were testing no, like the, no. the quiz master you were going to say. Incorrect! <laughs> 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 I'm paused. He does age it as well. He thought just manages to walk on the point. I uh, guess that frag onto a Vokchi, and Arvians can't react fast enough. Norway with a quick round on the board here. Yeah, going to the next middle now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Lithuania are trying that really early bomb from RVNs again. It wasn't that effective because they couldn't really follow up on the damage. Also, RVNs got taken down super quick. Uh, we're going to see Huey trying to get some nice early point presence here. Uh, but actually, at the end of Ice Plane, it's counter to QNX, but nice defensive work from QNX to save him some point there. Still trying to pump out damage. And now Suri's going to go down, Leon's going to lead him with the bomb. There is still a scout and soldier hanging around beneath, but one of them is going to be cleaned up, and the scout's just going to try and run away. Uh, Rudy actually gets carried away, doesn't have a lot of health to chase that down. And the soldier, Vokche's still having a little bit of a peak, padding his damage stats, but he might end up just getting caught out now as the scout comes around to try and finish him off. Yeah, nice from Fanny. And we're going to catch a scout now as well, maybe? Uh, not looking good for Stars right now. Down at 20 HP, and, uh, nice, but actually a scout comes behind, Nighthawk get, gets the drop on eight. Uh, just when it looks so good for Norway and when you are throwing lives away, uh, they throw one more into the mixer and they get a medic drop out of it. Yeah, Nighthawk is going to be trapped here and probably killed off. He's drawn a lot of attention back toward middle. He's still alive right now. He might actually get Ace on the respawn. He's coming up onto the medic. Oh, he's going to get denied just in the nick of time there. Both soldiers coming in to defend Ace, but oh, back to back medic picks. That would have been hilarious. You know what's uh, funny? I got the, You know what? Uh, Lithuania beat Russia on Badlands and Gullywash of all the maps to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we were a little bit too judgmental of um, their 5 CP play. Uh, we're going to see equal Ubers here. We see Nighthawk on the defensive Pyro, I think. Or is my, my HUD still broken? I think my HUD's still broken. There are no Pyros on the field. Uh, just sort of standard uh, from both teams right now. Norway pretty defensive. Um, and I'm going to try and fix my HUD quickly. Yeah, you need to get yourself some status spec. He's got all sorts of fancy shit there to unfreeze you and pauses having. Meanwhile, uh, Norway are all standing on the spire right now. They're just trying to use that height advantage and bait for the aggression. Going to see RVNs getting plucked out there by Rudy, who also finishes off Nighthawk. Who he will kill off QNX, the Norwegian demo man. But Norway are already running for last. They force the Uber out of Lithuania though, Ace can make it out, he's going to get hunted down there by Nuki and uh, that's a big advantage here for Lithuania, even though they had to pop off their charge, they did manage to hold on to the point, earn a man advantage and get that medic hit right now though, one man is going to be the fly in the air, and it's Fanny, he's coming in bottom right there, he's jumped over the head of Nighthawk, he's been spotted out by a Vogtje, there's loads of stickies on the ground there, all the Vogtje needs to do is hold his ground and uh, scream out that there's a scout behind Fanny will realise that he's up against there, he's going to back out and he actually survives there and yeah, I guess he's just a super patient, didn't want to go for it, didn't roll the dice. Yeah, well it's always hard to get in that stacked soldier when he's on the low ground surrounded by stickies. I think Fanny <laughs> can only afford to take one full rocket as well. Tell her the clock room, mate. <laughs> uh, so, he's, so we have confirmed Fanny is not the clockwork of Norway. <laughs> Um, that, that didn't work out well for uh, Snowblind, you know, the clockwork of Australia. Yeah. Rest in peace team immunity. <laughs> maybe there can only ever be one clockwork. Maybe everyone needs to be their own scout. Stop trying to impersonate the mighty clockwork. I'm a little puzzled here, like, Lithuania chose not to push. They decided to wait, but as, as I say that, Huey does find a nice pipe kill onto Rudy there. The Norway soldier Uber gets forced off and Tokyo and Leon goes down ace is just too far away to be able to click there and save him. And as the Uber speed, Norway will find themselves four down with the let he yet to lose a player in this engagement. They might as get E thug as well. There are two spawns coming in. Uh, or just Rudy up now actually, but uh, Norway with only three here around the Grey Bridge will be taking a big risk if they choose to contest fire, they're just trying to bait somebody out, but nobody from Lithuania is going to take the bait, they're just fully focused on capping that spire, because it's caps that win points here, man. Mm. Uh, I want to I wanna put uh, Nat the blame for that sort of fever exchange of Q and X right there, uh, not a main demo man, but he was just messing around in house. Uh, as they all push through chokes, and there wasn't a lot of entry damage. As we see Norway trying to execute a forward hold, but one player does get kind of behind. Nighthawk, I think that is, baiting the whole team back. 
Uh, Norway just going to fall back to last, and now I wouldn't be surprised to see some off-classing soon from Norway, uh, with you, but disadvantage where you do have. Uh, but Lithuania, top left, it looks like they want to come right now, just getting the buffs on all their players. Uh, and they only had a small window, and that window's pretty much over right now. It's going to be just a standard exchange. Um, not sure what they're waiting for here, just trying to make up their mind. Yeah, a lot of the time, even when you have an advantage, it's, it's not a real advantage. It's not something you can actually work with. So like 10% might seem tempting to push on if, if you have a good, decent count on it. But more often than not, the enemy medic is going to be able to dodge a shot or two and get that charge up. And they decide to wait here. They're going to play the patient game. And as it stands, it is Norway 1, Lithuania 0. So eventually, they're going to, this is a losing proposition for them if they don't cap. But they're going to... Make sure they get that pick onto E Thug. Now they have the man advantage 10 seconds before he respawns, so Lithuania should be pushing now. They're being very sheepish about this. If OK is going to come up top though, it gets forced early, and really all he's looking to do is force the Uber here and get back, maybe beat out a little bit of an overextend from Leon. Leon is, is peaking here, and this is a real opportunity as they were facing, get focused down very quickly. He will die, he got really greedy there. And now you hold oh, it in wow. straight on to the minute, gets the frag onto Fanny as well. And you just can't give them that sort of opportunity, Leon. Oh my god. A little bit of crystal ball action there of Adam I will see into the future, calling the overextend before it happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> perfect prediction and game sense. As uh, we're going to go to the next middle now, and I have been gifted with a sound bug from Valve. Thank you, Valve. As I'm going to only hear um, the demo man. On middle, but looks like who he's gone balcony. He's got the better of Q and X again, and there is a soldier here. Arvian's waiting to jump in, waiting for the call of his team of when to go aggressive. He's just waiting for it. He chooses to go now as Natsuri goes down. He's juggled the medic into the air, won't hit the little air shot, and the rest of his team have been forced out. And Arvian is stranded now behind him. Ace on half health. It looks like he's going to go window, but surely they see him coming. He's going to go for it anyway. Maybe he's just going to try and jump out. Four HP will go down eventually. Uh, Norway just taking complete control of that just from the get go. Full Look at Avoke as well. Oh, is he in the house behind them? I think he's going to come from Haunter right now. I don't think they see him. He's going to jump. They turn now. He gets one rocket onto Ace. Ace is down to 50, 30, 17. <laughs> oh, Avoke. Ace didn't have Uber there. He couldn't have saved himself if he wanted. Avoke may be unlucky because I guarantee if Ace went down to 17 health and he had an Uber to pop, he probably would have popped it. Um, it but as absolutely. It stands, as it stands, uh, Ace didn't have it, he holds on to it as Vokte can't find the last shotgun before he goes down. And they'll have a new advantage of about 30 tins to go in, and they're going to remain, but they're getting juggled awfully hard. But Pyro comes to get involved as well. Uh, they're trying to find damage now, but they're trying to shoot up. Leon goes pretty deep to try and isolate that soldier. But Norway really getting not a lot done. In fact, just losing a player. QNX is going to try and re push, but all he can do is trade for them. Rudy coming on, a scout's gone for a point through all of this, but, but Lithuania are just going to clean up every single player except for Ace, and Ace has had to run all the way out. Yeah, yeah. incredible pyro play there, just sort of stuffing them back in the hole, and uh, though we didn't want to give up, even though their Uber had been totally denied and ended up getting wiped for their trouble, as it stands, it's a massive river advantage yet again for Lithuania and that's sure he's trying to move forward, he's left few people are dead though as he gets pressured by a scout from above, he's gonna come in and save his demo man so they can try and take these two fights at once, defending the spire behind Wedge, pushing ahead with the Uber to get a few frags but they realise it's a tall order, they're gonna regroup around choke but there's nobody from Norway holding close, Lithuania can get free entry in the middle here if they want, QNX is still down, no stickies, they're gonna rotate through the house here, they're, they're pretty much making it harder for themselves to come through an even smaller choke point and these soldiers are actually getting an opportunity to do a lot of damage, Rudy's gonna bomb forward, gets the frag onto Natsuri and I can't believe Lithuania managed to just fumble the ball there. Could have just kept pushing, but they decided to overcomplicate things and played into Norway's hands, gave them that respite they needed to focus on the defense, even without their demo man. Well played, Norway soldiers. <laughs> yeah, now we see a scout going all the way behind right now. I don't think he's going to get on the back cap. He's actually going to run into a soldier. Uh, will not be able to get the soldier down to 11, but can't finish him off. Nighthawk flag comes to a premature end. And now we're going to see. Um, not quite, a, not a forward hold really. Who he's got stickies on main door, and the sniper was holding forward for a second. Uh, who he might get caught out by a scout if he peeks at the right time. But who he's going to get away with it and back up to last, and Norway have an uber advantage to work with. It's going to be scout demo, I think. Uh, here they come, they meet the pirate, exactly what those classes were meant to deal with. Now is a heavy as well. Uh, QNX is going to try and focus it down while the scout sacks for a point. But both of them go down, leaving Ace alone top left. 
The rest of the Norway team uh, a bit delayed coming in. Leon's going to come in, try and focus the Medic. That Suri goes down to 9 health, but there's no one there to uh, back up Leon's damage as Ace runs away and the Uber advantage swings into Lithuania's hands. Yeah. Ball is definitely in their court. They're going to change back to Cookie Cutter here. Two scouts, two soldiers, and a demo man as they move forward. Nighthawk's already on the balcony, hiding behind that uh, metal fence now. Gets spotted out by Eve. I guess health is going to be pretty low here, but he can juke back into lobby, get that kit, and prepare for the push. This is the most important time to stay alive right now, because they need six up to be able to cover all the entrances and put pressure on Spire and the combo at the same time. So many things for the team to do. There's stickies waiting for them on that roller door as well. If anybody steps out on main, Seems like Lithuania aren't convinced by their uber advantage. They're just taking it very slowly here and they're probably going to get punished. Actually, they've decided this is uh, too much of a risk. They're so unsure of themselves, they're going to back off to last. It's 1-1 right now. There are 17 minutes left on the clock. They're going to go for the forward hold, in fact. They're not going to give up entirely. Let's see how Norway react to this one, Commander X. Uh, yeah, uh, Norway, I don't know if they've realised it's a forward hold yet because they're just kind of just waiting outside. They have a sniper, which is going to be... Um really ineffective against the forward hold. Uh, they figured it out now as they're walking up top. Um, I imagine we're just going to try and trade Ubers, uh, but there is a soldier in lower lobby uh, sort of hanging around. Uh, they're actually going to meet the forward hold. Oh, Arvian has put a lot of spam on. Uh, Fanny's trying to take a super close range headshot around this corner. He's going to hit it as well. Wow. <laughs> what was I saying about it being ineffective? Is it too late to we've withdraw that opinion? As we go into another pause for the looks of it. Yeah, he, he just uh, schooled him. He is, of course, a fairly prolific sniper in Highlander. And uh, Rudy as well plays Engineer, I think, in Highlander, but he's a bit of a beast with the shotgun aim. Although here he is playing Rumours, I guess that is uh, pretty irrelevant. Uh, as it stands in the pause, it's four up for Norway. It's Uber versus Uber right now. Probably not wise for Norway to continue pushing if they take a moment to look at the scoreboard, but they might want to go in and trade Ubers anyway. Uh, Starsky, aka Nuki, is looking to take a one-on-one -on -one with Ethog here, but he has the health advantage. So really, uh, the options for Norway to take the fight here, I would, I would bet against for sure. Also, Nighthawk's all the way behind. Like he ran out resupply and won his one-on-one -on -one with Rudy. So, Nighthawk's behind, so I don't know if it, really which way that's going to work, because Nighthawk's kind of completely out of a fight right now. Mm. Like, he can't he can't really assist in this Uber exchange at all. Like, he can't really come... Maybe if he turns around straight away, he can be there for the cleanup. But I don't know how effective he's going to be. Uh, and I don't know if Leon's going to really want to keep pushing this forward. Uh, sort of two people down. Especially when, like I said, it's 1-1, one, one, there's still plenty of time left. And there's no need yet to take unnecessary risks. Play the safe game when it's time. Yeah, but these these guys are descend, descended from Vikings, man. They might just get the the red mist and go for the battle axes. Go for it, you know. They're not even gonna go in with a rocket launcher. Leon's just gonna whip out the escape plan, walk in <laughs> Ubers, and start whacking dudes in the head, trying to puncher a few skulls <laughs> with a whip. <laughs> Here we go. There's the uncle. Leon's gonna back away from that peak as lots of spam comes. Uh, who is gonna keep uh, peeking? He gets one pipe. In him. Starsky does go down behind, but it's actually a soldier behind from Kane. He's going to force the off. Nighthawk started for Cap as well. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of the Lithuania team just fall back to last. And Norway don't know what to do in the Uber. There's nothing they can do. They just have to uh, regroup. And it looks like they're going in non Ubered right now. Uh, they get the Uber out. Lithuania, they're going to run towards the point. That scout from Fanny uh, uh, baits the rest of the team. Lithuania's dropped down to the point and are pushing for more kills. But now uh, Starsky's just run through and killed. Uh, the medic, uh, he's going to kill the demo man as well, and we're always sort of going all in right now, but they've not got any. And what was I saying about unnecessary risks? And then Norway throw every single player into that push. Oh, they had to go for it though, man. I'm not sure if your HUD was broken there, but at the point they pushed, they had like, there was three down for Lithuania. Uh, like, they had the man advantage, they, they were going for it, they could feel it, it was time to force that Uber and then play off that, but yeah, they definitely did overcommit to that one. Uh, now Lithuania sitting here around choke. Previously they didn't push an advantage here. There's players behind right now. They're going to make sure they clean them up. There's Rudy going down. Fanny as well stayed earlier. It's just about to respawn. But uh, Nuki and Nighthawk are just beasting it in underneath here. But the flank uh, absolutely obliterated. Norway just have to back out. They can't even hold on the point there around choke because they know they're just going to get 
flanked and crushed. So they've backed out here. They've avoided the pincer maneuver and they're gonna hold around Spire or Balcony. Ace is up for sure where to go. He needs somebody to heal right now because he is still behind in the Uber game here. Only 70% and already Lithuanian forces are bearing down on them at Trash. And that's the sort of place where if you try and hold outside of the lobby, you're really committed to the push. And if you don't have Uber, it's just better to get out of there. They're gonna back out and because they're not ready on the Balcony, it's probably just ill-advised to get to test fire whatsoever. Yeah, we're going to turn it into a forward hold instead of trying to uh, make the spire hold work. Uh, but because they've got this forward hold going, Lithuania are committed on the floor. So it's going to be difficult for them to get in and they're going to have to walk all the way around up top. Um, and Lithuania might be them setting them up for a bit of a heartbreaker here. As if they actually lose both their scouts, Lithuania, before their team's even finished climbing spire. And I think they just want to cancel on that climb and Norway are going to turn us into a push. Leon leading the charge off balcony right now. Just going to get some cap time for free. The rest of his team meet up with him now. Uh, here comes the soldiers to contest. He's going to get all over point. He's going to get taken down. Arbienskos down. The other Lithuanian soldier, Evokcho, is in trouble here. Uh, it's leading their way up, but they might actually lose Rudy instead. Uh, soldier's really low, going to get an arrow so he can jump out. It's going to be a one on one in the house of a meet with him as the rest of the players exchange. Uh, e Uber's still not to be popped for either team, and there is a sniper, but he's going to take down Ethug. That's Nighthawk, and actually, no! Oh, Ace is going to drop QNX. I think it's the second time he's dropped a player in sort of a crucial Uber exchange, and Norway are just going to have to use this invulnerability to walk away. Yeah, I think like Ace really wanted them to push there. Uh, he was trying to encourage his team forward, and they didn't want to go, and then he's just like... I know that feeling, you're like, oh my god, is this really happening? Your whole team's dying around you, and you've just stayed in the same place the whole time. They got chipped away there and that sniper eventually was able to pick them apart but now they're on last little pause coming in briefly there to tease us but it's not a real pause it seems. RVNs has traded with Fanny there. Actually evoked to get the frag. Nighthawk had the headshot on Sir Rudy playing from the barrels here and uh, Norway are getting opened up ever so slightly. Another body shot this time. Nighthawk on the A thug. They've been able to move forward here. Huey and Evoxi getting the heels around main, but Huey's going to get juggled and land onto a sticky. He will die. It's only Dr. Leon here. 44 health. Oh. Respawn's coming in. Rudy and Fanny can make it onto the point, but Evoxi just steps in underneath it. They all rush for the medic, but somehow they've managed to hold on here. Rudy, 140, 60, 14, Scouts dead. Oh. That was so close. <laughs> that was pretty much oh. all the players dying there, really. Uh, but Lithuania will push it, and they push it all the way back from last. They're going to be a bit of a big demotivator for Norway. They really that, that sort of hold at that Uber exchange in trash where they just hesitated for a long time. Uh, maybe a bit of miscommunication, a bit of different directions coming in on the comp. Uh, now we're going to go to the next mid. Uh, QX is on balcony. Not achieved a whole lot of damage so far as Lithuania come through shithouse. Soldier's going to be juggled, but he's got a follow-up bomb as well, and Leon's going to go down. A uh, lot of damage right now, but the scouts are fighting on the other side of a pot. The Lithuanian scouts are going to completely isolate and clean up. And now Hui and Asuri have to run away, uh, but they're, they're not running away. Uh, they're sort of staying in a long time here, and I don't know if... Yeah, QNX, here comes the bomb from QNX, uh, but RVN puts himself in the way and just puts his life on the line so the rest of these players can escape. A yeah, big place from uh, Leon there, takes the coat on that middle, even though he died like that. That denial was super important in shutting down the Lithuanian game plan. Uh, he has played very defensive well in the house, managed to survive that one. His scouts doing a lot of work off the back of those uh, denied soldiers, able to clean up. They've had Spire as well, moving forward. Look at the health of Norway, lots of red players. It's pretty much the same on Lithuania as well though, but the Uber has been popped off by Ace just to keep his players alive. They're going to have to push with this man advantage and try and force out the Uber from Natsuri. They can afford to sacrifice one player and still have an even man game. Huey with the quick death that was going to deny Leon from main. And QNX having picked off uh, Starsky will find that he has respawned, so it is in fact big advantage here for Lithuania. They're going to be able to move forward with a lot of confidence. They have six against five in this engagement. Just the respawn coming in for Leon, but also that Uber charge. And uh, they're not over committing to it. They're trying to get time on the point first and bait forward the Norwegians. But QNX has the sticky set up on the spiral staircase there. He's going to be able to kill off Nighthawk. And uh, still, Lithuania don't want to pop that charge. They're just hemorrhaging players here, but they want to cap that Spire for free. And they know they can because they have such a big advantage. Still 40% behind for Ace. They can just wait, bait as many players forward as possible into the meat grinder. They have done that. Ethug and Tex with Colt AK, Dr. Leon going down there. The Uber is feeding. He's still trying to do damage here. He's as low as 14 health. Now getting healed by his medic, but Norway 
find themselves with a continual man disadvantage. They can't contest fire and they can't contest middle, but they're going to give it a go anyway. Avokti gets slightly ahead of his team and uh, dies to the stickies of an X. The respawn coming in from Norway. They might fancy this Commander X. They might go for it. Yeah, looks like they're gonna go with both soldiers. Both soldiers gonna launch out. And Suri's maybe a little bit overcommitted. He's down to seven health and focus fire from the Lithuanian, uh, from the Norwegian soldiers. Either gonna focus down the medic. Uh, they don't get a lot of other frags really, just to scout. But they're gonna be able to recap that point, and they've got themselves a big uber advantage. And as Evoxy just trades in house, and I think there might be a flank play coming out from Lithuania. Scout coming through Horns right now. Gonna get onto eight. Eight takes thirty damage. That's all he's gonna take. And that's over, but I think there is another soldier going to follow up. Oh, RVN's on middle. Ace might be in trouble as he's caught a lot of spam, but RVN is actually just going to take the soldier one on one on middle as the. Yeah. Bit weird now from Lithuania, a bit uncoordinated. Yeah, normally quick to pass as well, retake control of Spire. And uh, Lithuania realize they are really up against it here. They're going to whip out the NG and Pyro. We saw that Pyro super effective previously already. The Rudy's in for free. He's on the point. He's drawn their attention. Pyro comes in to deny the Uber. Rudy is going to be cleaned up, but the scout's able to just step onto the point. That's going to be Fanny getting that cap. Just sneaks in there. Yeah, who we had stickies on him because the point was so close. Uh, it was The stickies couldn't be detonated quickly enough. Uh, now it's now tied 2-2. Uh, obviously, if Lithuania win this map, they win. Uh, they go through. They eliminate Norway. So Norway have everything to play for right now as they come out onto this next middle. Q and X playing from balcony. The rest of their players arriving now, trying to get forward. But Lithuania have a better position, even though they do lose RBNs pretty quickly. Q and X is still trying to pump up damage. Lithuania back up, all into the same place in that narrow corridor at Chuck, and that's just going to force them out. A scout's trying to come in behind. He's actually going to get picked off. Leon's going to think about going as well. But they maybe would be unwise to go into this. Lithuania have a uh, pretty good positioning right now to absorb that aggression. He's setting up a sticky trap right now at Choke. Uh, now he's going to peek into the house here. He's uh, put up a little bite trap there at the same time. Dr. Leon's playing it dangerous here in between three, four stickies. But uh, Huey's not going to death just yet. Both teams happy to slow the game down here. At 2 2, Norway in control of the midpoint. Uh, but as they push forward into the spire, this, even though they have the spawn advantage, it start, sort of becomes unfavorable. So they're, they're remiss to push. They're just waiting for a clear opportunity here. They want to see if they can perhaps flank and find a pick. So they're going to send soldiers and heels towards house. But oh, look at this. It's going to be the double soldier bomb perhaps round to Reese up. Leon's leading it. Rudy's in as well. They're trying to find. The player caught out here, oh, RVNs is going to juke into the lobby just in the nick of time, but Nighthawk did go down now, the Lithuanian scout, oh. and the play works, what, what, he thought with the drop onto that Suri as well, he refuses to pop and pays the price. <laughs> yeah, Ethan just dances around with Demo Man, uh, ignores him completely and gets onto the medic, as Leon's just going to walk into a field of stickies in front, and who he's going to do his best to slow this down, but Ace has survived this whole thing, that Suri drop, drop could prove costly. Only seven minutes left and it's tied 2-2 and Norway have all the time in the world to make this push work. Yeah, I've got one eye on the Twitch chat here. I just want to confirm that it's the STV bug is the reason you can hear Huhi's soundscape the whole time. Everybody has it that's on STV. Uh, nothing we can do about it right now. But, uh, just, I don't know, just mute the stream. No way, then you can't hear our cast. They'll probably mute the stream anyway. Probably the best watch I can see. <laughs> Take me through this next week. Or we could just watch Huhi the whole time. As <laughs> As Vive is going to come in top left, both scouts against the sentry. Maybe not the wisest choice, it takes them a long time to take that Nighthawk sentry. But we've got a lot of position, we're just going to stack for points. Lithuania come down in force to block it, but scouts getting onto the demo. Uh, no Lithuania player has died yet, but they're all in for red health. Uh, just uh, Ace and Ace is going to run for the point. Oh, he has a sticky on it. Leon's still fighting, Fanny's respawned. But Leon's not, they're so weak, these Lithuanian players. Leon's pulled out his shotgun, he knows they're weak, but he's going to catch a rocket and go down. Um, meanwhile, I think a scout's actually run behind to try and get on point, and Fanny's duking from here. Uh, the scout's going to try and take the one on one, but Starsky with a big overextend right there. Gonna get picked off. And Nighthawk's having a look here like he still wants to go, but that'd be unwise. And Norway hang on, and no, Lithuania hang on even by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, no one's taking the opportunity to run crits here either. Both medics still running that standard medigun. We will be seeing shiny, shiny people in about 20 seconds time. 
Slight advantage here for the Norwegians, but probably won't come in to play and just checking to see what the setup is on the Lithuanian defense. Nobody's off classing right now. They are happy with their Uber situation. That's what that tells me that they're ready for the re push here. They don't want to take it to a golden cap. They want to get this game outright, but it's five minutes and 30 seconds remaining here in this ETF2L Nations Cup number five elimination round. Uh, Rudy's going to come in here and try and make the play. He gets denied though. Uber comes in up top at the same time. Uh, looks like. The Norwegians don't want to put all their eggs in one basket, but they have yet to force the Uber. They have managed to pressure the point though and, and draw the Lithuanians down, but... Actually, they find two frags there. QNX coming in the bottom, picks off Arby and Scout of Fanny. Duking around the point as well, distracting people. The force comes in as well, just a bit of, of, a, of a panic pop there from that Suru. But somehow that worked out well for Norway. They managed to engineer themselves an Uber advantage. And they have uh, six players up right now. Lithuania just get six back on the field. But Nighthawk, Dyson with death there, managed to escape from the balcony on 6 health. But, the, I mean, it's it's easy for the Norwegians to find frags, I feel. Those scouts are so aggressive. Maybe now, he's, he saw his light flash before his eyes. He can just <laughs> st step back and they can shore up the defences here. Yeah, they're not opting for any off classes though, even though they've got that sort of 20% disadvantage. And it's going to be difficult for Lithuania here. Here comes the Pyro from Stars. He's going to be holding close. I'm not really surprised. Just double scout Uber again from top. The Pyro drops main though. He's got the wrong plate. The scouts flood in. Rudy goes down. The scouts haven't done a lot of work, rookie though. Uh, this push is going all wrong for Norway right now. The scouts still in trying to make it work, but that's a mistake. Manny goes down. Only two players left alive. Ace is going to try and run away main as the Pyro's just cleaning up so many players. And I. Ace is sort of snuck away through resupply as a soldier challenges for Scout and Spire. Nighthawk's going to take down Rudy. And suddenly, four minutes left, Lithuania have got a little bit of uh, wind behind their sails. And they might want to go all the way to middle with this. Oh, are they bringing the pyro with them? No, he's, he's uh -huh. uh, gone down just there. But uh, it's going to be 10 seconds before Starsky gets back on the field. Then Norway, they're not going to wait for Uberman. They're poised to go here. Leon's looking for the buff. He's going to jump through here. He's going to create the space for his team. A few sticky still there, but they're getting cleaned up by Ether. QNX and Ace about to come through. And Fanny's up there on Spire, the back half. Nobody's paying attention. The Lithuanians haven't reacted. Nobody's trying to block the Spire here. Voxy feels his health is too low. And Huey has just realized all too late as he gets pistoled down by Fanny. Puts all that time on the point. Gets the demo man pick. And this could be curtains for Lithuania right here, CX. Three minutes, 20 seconds. That Suri doesn't have anyone to heal. He's trying to meet up with his team now, but there's already time of a point. Norway come in before. That Suri can't even get his heal beam on anyone. Norway take the lead with three minutes left. Lithuania need a big middle right now. Oh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is where they separate the men from the boys. There's three minutes left on the clock. There's a one-round game, and uh, Lithuania need a big middle, or at least to keep players up here and have a, a big second if they lose middle. But Nighthawk and oh, Starsky trying oh, to rush the demo man, but QNX goes huge with the pre-fire stickies. Then the tight ones on Nighthawk. The scouts tried to take matters into their own hands. They wanted to grab that bull by the horns, but QNX just destroy them we're the gonna see kicked back yeah <laughs> back it off here with the medic net surgery but uh really the norwegians can just play the clock here i don't know if, if that's how they they get down but definitely an option here only two minutes left cx well if any if previous experience is anything to go by i don't think they will as qnx uh, helps set up a frag on another scout and i won't be surprised if they take this straight into last we're all in top already um, all the way up Spire even, they're going to walk top. Oh no, wait, maybe they are parking the bus. Ace is sustained on the Spire. The bus has been parked. 1 minute 55 left for Lithuania to do something. Pardon me, for them to do something. And they're going to have to go right now. The clock is against them. Dr. Leon's calling the classic back upgrade strats here. He's saying, you know, let's let's wait for the back cap. Fanny's in position on the edge of the balcony there. QNX gets a on the night hiding as well. They're hiding on different sides right now, both oh, yeah, the Norwegian scouts, yeah. And that RVN does not check in. He's going to try and focus him instead. Oh, he's, uh, he's sneaking closer. He's going for the back cap right now. They've committed everyone to this push for point. There's, there's one scout behind. If he can, can win this one on one, he's got the point. There's another scout too. Ifo has to win both one on ones. Nighthawk will just about clean it up. Nighthawk's early death uh, actually saves the point for them in the end. Meanwhile, Lithuania have tried to Uber out, and that's just gone horribly wrong. Uh, the medics have to get cleaned up here as well, I think. That's Suri doing whatever he can, he's about to get melee. And the clock will finish, and Norway are still in. I've even got a cap, the clock's not finished, my bad. I thought it was just... <laughs>
going to be 4-2 uh, here to Norway as uh, Lithuania find themselves with 45 seconds on the clock and a two round disadvantage. It's mathematically impossible. You just can't cab that fast CX. Not even TCM could do it. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, big middle from QNX uh, we saw previously. And he's just lining up more air shots now. He's got one, he's got a double. He's going to force the soldier to crater. QNX in all the pipes of the world right now. Um, his team will lose it. And Ace has already left, departed for last, but there's nothing left for Wayne he can do. The time is against him. And that means we're going to Gullywash, admirable. Yeah, it's going to be uh, the full best of three. We're going to see all the maps. And uh, maybe in between, we can take a look at the logs. No, we didn't see them on the first map due to our stream complications, but uh, we have them here in Mumble CX. You want to take a look at the statistics with me, buddy? Yeah, let's do it. Um, what we see differently from the previous map is QNX sort of edging the damage battle with his fellow demo man, Huhi. Um, Leon putting up big damage as well, but other than that, pretty even all around, really. Um, I can't find any real defining factors. Maybe the fact that RVNs went 8 for 18, and that probably didn't help. Yeah, even... <laughs> uh, it is super close. Like, looking at the team stats, there's only three frags in it, and only about uh, 2k, one... One and a half K damage there, but four extra Uber charges for the Norwegians, as well as six mids to one. Mm. So Lithuania are really struggling with those mid fights and also finding themselves uh, outplayed slightly by Ace. Six deaths to eight, but four more charges there. He managed to play that Uber game very well. Well, he's got, look at that, he's got about, oh, what's that, 17 more heals per minute coming out from Ace. It doesn't sound like a lot, but over the course of a map, it sort of starts to add up. Sort of total of like, yeah, 3,000 heals, really. Um, yeah, I felt like Lithuania didn't really try a lot of different things on their mid until that one where they had both scouts go aggressive, which is interesting. It will catch teams unaware. Unfortunately, Q Q and X just hit everything. That one mid, they tried it, and it completely fell apart on that. Uh, but other than that, I think they should have tried more stuff like that a little bit sooner, you know? Try it after, you know, they won one mid in total, and that was the last one, like the seventh round. <laughs> Yeah, when it was already too mm. late.